Hey guys, so it's the 1st of April in 2024, and I'm here in a city called Zeszów in the southeast of Poland. So Zeszów is a city of over, around 200,000 people population wise, and it's a wonderful city to, a vi to visit. Today, I'm just gonna give you an update uh, what it's like here in April around Easter time. And I'm gonna tell you some things that you can see and do when you're here in Zeszów. And I'm going to show you some of the nicest bars and cafes and restaurants here. Um, this street here is called Maya Street. And this is the main high street of town. So Maya Street is a lovely cobbled street. And you just walk straight down and you find all the main um, cafes and bars and restaurants. It's a perfect place for people watching. So all the families are out today because it's Easter time. So there's lots and lots of people have been out today. Let me just swing the camera around and you can see the sign there that says Maya. Um, a, a J is a Y, you see, because Polish language is very difficult. So it's spelled M-A-J-A, -A, but the J is a Y. So that's why it's Maya Street. So if you go further on, just straight down here, you take a left turning down there. Um, you've got the Lubomirsky Summer Palace, which is definitely worth a look. You'll get yourself some lovely photographs there for your Facebook and your Instagram. Lub Lubomirsky Summer Palace is absolutely, yeah, stunning, absolutely stunning. Lovely gardens in front of it, and you can see all the plaques around it as well to tell you all the information about it. It's definitely, definitely worth a look, guys, as well. Um, if you go straight ahead here and you just take a right turning, you get to the Lubomirsky Castle, which is now like a courtroom and all the lawyers work from there. And that's what it's being used for at the moment. But um, it's it's undergone some renovation. I mean, it's not the oldest castle in Poland, but I really, really like the castle. It's a big, massive castle with a park around the outside. And it's lovely for a day like today. It's lovely to take a walk around the area of the castle. So going to the um, just to the left side at the end of this street, where you see the tower there, just below that tower there that you see on the left, you've got the multimedia fountain park. And that's a lovely place to chill out in the summertime with all the fountains and everything. It's nice and fresh. And there's all seating around it where you can sit down as well. So I do recommend you visit the multimedia fountain park as well. I'll just swing you back onto Maya Street. So the weather today, it's the 1st of April. So the weather's been about 23 degrees today. Um, yesterday was 22 degrees. The day before yesterday was about 21 degrees. And then tomorrow's gonna be 12 degrees. So yeah, April's a nice month to visit here in Poland. Um, the only thing is in April time here is the pollen count is very high. I'm a suffer for, I, I suffer from hay fever. So, I mean, I'm sneezing a lot in April time. So I take the Claritin hay fever tablets for it. But I'm sure you'll get some tablets to sort it out anyway if you have some uh, allergies to flowers. Um, but it's wonderful to look at all the nice flowers up and down this street and all the nice greenery. It's just kept absolutely perfect. And it's one of the most beautiful streets in the whole of Poland. So on the right side, you've got the church. And the church is open today. You can see lots of people are going into the church with their families. Um, Poland is a Catholic country, a very strict Catholic country. People are very religious here in Poland and everything's being closed on Saturday and Sunday over Easter. All the shops were closed. I went to the shopping center, the big shopping center here called Millennium Hall today. And Millennium Hall was also closed. I was surprised it was closed. And then I checked the other shopping center that was also closed. But um, all the shops are closed here for sure. All the tourist attractions like outfits and the salt mines and all those tourist attractions that tourists come to Poland for, they're all closed as well on the Saturday and the Sunday. So, so I just, um, you, you can go up and down here and you can go to all the cafes. The majority of cafes and restaurants are open here um, today, you know, with it being the Monday. But yesterday, with the Sunday, most places, the majority, I'd say about 70% of places were closed yesterday. Um, there was a few pubs open. There was three or four pubs open at the main market square. The soda bar was open. The, uh, the brewery pub was open as well. Starry Brovar was open, the brewery pub. Um, Bua Bua was open. Um, the Kozel Czech beer pub was also open. 
and the play bar was open too which is just here on your left side you got the play bar so i'll just show you this one you have a look on the left with the the brown sign there it says play bar in that bar you can um you can play games like computer games in there and you can smoke shisha in there so that's the only shisha bar i know in town around here and on the left side you've got the caviarnia which means coffee shop in polish so if you see caviarnia that's a, a coffee shop in polish and a coffee is kava in polish if you want a white co coffee ask for kava biawa and that's a white coffee and um, if you want a dark coffee, just ask for an Americano. So what I really like about this street is all the um, all the flowers up and down, really. It's, I noticed it the first time I came here. They're just very, very well maintained. It's just a really, uh, a really beautiful street to have a stroll on. This tour's taking about six o'clock in the evening and it's still nice and light. It's probably gonna go dark soon, actually. So there's a pizza place there on the left side. You can get a pizza for about 35 zloty, which is about seven pounds or about nine euros. So that's what you're looking at for a pizza in this city. Most places for pizza charge about 35 or 40 zloty for a pizza. So you're looking at about seven or eight pounds for a pizza here in Zheshov. So it's um, probably a little bit less than what you pay in England, actually. Um, here in Zheshov for a beer, you pay about 15 zloty for a pint of beer in most of the bars here. So that's about three pounds or about three and a half euros for a pint of beer. So the prices here are a bit more competitive than cities like Krakow and Warsaw um, because they're, um, you know, business cities and tourist cities. Uh, Warsaw is the capital city of Poland. They call it Warszawa in Polish language. And Krakow is the tourist capital of Poland. 20 million tourists go to Krakow every single year. It is absolutely packed with tourists every single day, especially British tourists from my home country. There are so many British tourists in Krakow and lots and lots of Spanish tourists in Krakow as well. So this city in Zheshov, I mean, it's mostly um, Polish people living here. Um, the second biggest population is Ukrainian people because there's, there's a war going on there in the Ukraine and um, lots and lots, um, you know, uh, tens of thousands of Ukrainian people have relocated here to escape the war. Um, and then you've got all the British living here because they're in the British military. And uh, this is a NATO base. This is a military base, this city, just nearby to here in Yazyanka Airport. So you've got the American military here. You've got NATO here as well. And um, there's lots of um, army men walking around town. So that's what it's like right now. More and more army men are coming over as the war gets more and more heated. So that's the, uh, the situation right now. You'll meet lots of soldiers when you go to the pubs here in um in Zheshov. so you, it's also a student city as well you've got the technological university here in Zheshov. so um so it's famous for having the university here and it's um it's a student city as well and the university is based in the new town area which is just over the river and Zheshov is famous for the aerospace industry and there's factories here, like uh, Boeing have a factory here, Pratt & Whitney had a, have a factory here as well, and all the aerospace companies and the aviation companies, they have, um, they have offices here in Zheshov. They call it the Aviation Valley of Poland, and uh, a lot of the people who are learning to fly aircrafts, uh, they learn to fly aircrafts here as well in, um, in Zheshov. But um, Yazyanka Yaz Airport, where the US military, where the US um, military are based, is about 20 minutes away from the city centre of um, of Zheshov, and um, it's spelt with a J, but it's called Yazyanka Airport. So a few tips about the Polish language: Well, tak means yes, um, piwo means beer, kava means coffee. Dziękuję means thank you, or you can say dzięki. If you find it difficult, just say dzięki for thank you. Um, Czech means hi. I've been here for nine years now and I've, still my Polish is not great really because I live in Krakow and I work in tourism. I run a tourism business and all of, my, all of my tourists, all of my customers are British. So, you know, I speak English with my tourists every single day, but Polish is one of the most difficult languages in the whole world. And all the foreigners I know in Krakow, they also don't know Polish either. Um, very, very difficult language indeed. 
but it's always nice if you come to a place to learn a few words of the local language just so you can understand what's going on and so you can understand what people are saying as well so i recommend that you try a place um you try and find a place here for polish food uh, there's lots of places around where you can get Polish food. It's much better value for money if you buy Polish food than international food here. Um, also, if you buy Polish beer, it's much, much cheaper if you buy Polish beer than if you buy international beer. So, for example, if you go to the Irish pub and you, just ahead on the left side, the Galway pub, if you buy a pint of Guinness Irish beer, it's 27 zloty, which is nearly six pounds. But if you buy a pint of Polish beer, for example, it's 15 zloty, which is about three pounds. In terms of trying Polish food, I'd recommend the soup. Um, the soup is absolutely fantastic here in Poland. They pride themselves on making the best soup in Europe. And I would recommend you try the, um, the Zurek soup. The Zurek soup is kind of garlicky. It's hard to describe. It's got sausage inside. It's very, very tasty, that soup. Uh, I recommend you try a Zurek soup when you're here in Poland. Um, the, also, the Rossol soup, the chicken soup, is very popular. But there's so many different types of soups you can have um, when you're here as well. A lot of people here are buying the Ukrainian soup, the Ukrainian borscht soup. You can buy that pretty much everywhere in Poland as well. And I really like, my favorite one is the potato pancakes with mushroom sauce. And it's absolutely delicious. They're like, yeah, they're... They're not exactly pancakes, it's hard to describe. They're a bit like hash browns, but they're really, really delicious with the mushroom sauce. Uh, I also recommend you the potato pancakes with goulash. Um, that's a really, really delicious dish as well to try. Um, Polish food is mostly with meat. This is a meat eating country. Um, you don't find that many places here that do seafood. There's not that many seafood restaurants around here. They're mostly uh, meat restaurants. Um, I find that the quality of food here in Zheshov is high. It's um, probably a bit higher than in Krakow because Krakow's a tourist city for tourists. So here you get really, really good quality food. Um, there's restaurants from all different countries up and down here. On the left side, you've got La Sueva, which is an Italian place. You see the Italian flag there. You can take a seat in the window and you can just watch the people go by. La Sueva. And just be careful here with fast moving vehicles on the pavements. Um, I always find this in Poland in terms of health and safety. There's lots of fa fast moving scooters in Krakow where I live and fast moving bikes. And you have to watch it every moment because, you know, you can get hit. I was hit about four or five years ago. I had a broken arm when I was hit by a bike in the middle of the street. But they don't look where they're going. They go fast on the pavements. In Poland, cyclists and scooters are allowed to go on the pavements and they go extremely fast. And that's my only criticism, really, that the, the health and safety needs to improve here because it's very, very dangerous. If you get hit in the back by a bike or a scooter, it's game over. You're in a wheelchair. So here's the wine bar on the right side. It's like a glass of wine. Um, it seems to be closed today because it's uh, Monday Easter holiday, 1st of April. Um, left side, you've got an American restaurant called Texas Bar and Restaurant. Got a board outside, let's see what they're selling. So they're selling steaks. They're selling pasta, it says macar mac macaroni, which is pasta. Uh, lossos, which is salmon. Um, they've got churros, they've got tacos. So they've got some Mexican food there as well. For Mexican food, I recommend that you go to the main market square, find the soda pub, or find Aqua Pub, and next door there's a Mexican place, and they do fantastic Mexican burritos, and it's uh, about seven pounds, 35 Polish slotty for a Mexican burrito there. I really, really recommend it. Go for the one called Katrina with the big prawns in, and it's really, really delicious. Here on the left side though, that's really nice because you can people watch, you can watch all the people go by, and you can get a window seat there. You've got the football on the television in the background at this Texas bar. So it would be a nice place to try if you want a nice steak or something like that, you could go inside and try it. And on the left side, you've got one of the most popular places in the whole of Zheshov. It's called Grotta. Polish people who live in Zheshov, they've recommended me Grotta. Um, Grotta's very good value for money. You can get a pasta dish for about seven pounds, 35 Polish slotty. I recommend the Hungarian pasta cup, 
Um, it's really, really flavorful and delicious. And you can get a pint of, uh, a pint of Kozel Czech beer on the tap for 15 Polish Lottie, which is three pounds. You can get a coffee in there for about two pounds. And um, there's a big back room. So you go through into the front room and just follow it through all the way to the back. And they've got big screens there in the back room. So on the left side, this is one of the two Irish pubs in the town. It's called the Galway Irish Pub. It's a really, really good Irish pub. It's one of the best Irish pubs in the whole of Poland. Lovely decoration and pictures inside. It's a proper Irish pub and the food is just absolutely delicious. They have um, meat imported from the USA in there. They have all kinds of steaks and burgers. Um, I had the mac and cheese yesterday night and it was just absolutely delicious. And I highly, highly recommend you the Galway pub for a meal. Um, there's another Irish pub. If you go further on, turn off to the left side and you walk for about four or five minutes. And the other Irish pub uh, is just there. Yeah, going across. It's called the Jameson Irish pub. And that's a very cheap Irish pub where you can get a pint of beer for about two pounds. Um, it's not so much for food. It's more for drinks in the Jameson pub. And you can play table football. You can play, um, you can play pool and stuff like that in there as well. So on the right side here is the Habana bar. It's another, um, it's a Cuban bar and it's a sports bar there, but it's also a restaurant. So let's have a look through the window. So you've got all the big screens there with the sports on, as you can see in the background. Um, you can get a pint of beer in there for between 15 and 20 Polish Lotti. So it's like three or four pound for a pint of beer in there. Uh, Habana sports bar and barbecue. Today I went for, a, for some paella. I used to live in Spain before I moved to Poland. So uh, I went to this Portuguese place here on the right side and they do paella, the same as Spanish paella. It's a Portuguese paella um, with seafood and it cost me 86 Polish Lotti, um, which is around 20 euros for a, a, a paella dish. Um, it had uh, big prawns inside it. It had mussels inside it and some calamari in it as well. So um, I do really love the Lisbon Cafe on a sunny day. Just um, take a seat outside there and you can just watch all the people go by. It's got a lovely terrace there in the Lisbon Cafe there. Hey, hey. <laughs> and it's a nice place for a cocktail as well. I recommend if you go to Lisbon Cafe, maybe try the sangria because I, I know it's more of a Spanish thing, sangria, but they sell it in there and the sangria is really, really nice. So I recommend you go there to the um, Lisbon Cafe to give it a go as well. They also do very good cocktails there in the Lisbon Cafe too. And this place, this Caviania straight ahead, I'm just showing you here, Nibieski, they do very good hot chocolate. So I recommend that one for hot chocolate. Um, I recommend that you get a window seat here, just I'll just show you inside. So, yeah, if you get a window seat in there and um, let me just show you the cafe inside here. It's quite quiet in there now because it's like the evening time as well. And here's the famous statue in the center of Tadush. He's a famous rock star from this city. Lots of people get their photos done there with Tadush. And you've got the big church there in the background as well. So Zeszow is famous for having the best weather in Poland. It's a very dry city. There's very little rainfall here. Uh, most times when I come to Zeszow, even in the winter time, we've had nice sunny days. Very, very sunny city here. It's right in the southeast of Poland, in the Subcarthian region of Poland. So um, it's one of the best cities in Poland to live in for sure. If you want um, Japanese food, then you've got Zori Sushi there on the right side. I recommend that you go for the daytime menu Monday to Friday between 12 and 4, Monday to Friday. They have a promotion in there in Zori Sushi and you get a special a special promo for lunch. I think it's about 45 zloty, which is about nine pounds, maybe about 11 or 12 euros. And you get a big plate of sushi for lunch and you get a soup. So when you're in Poland, guys, remember to go to the restaurants Monday to Friday at lunchtime between 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock and ask for the daytime menu, ask for the Dania Dinyar. Dania Dinyar is daytime menu in Polish and they have a special promotion for about 40 zloty, about eight pounds or something like that. And you'll get a really good lunch. You'll get two or three courses, like a special promo just during the week. 
So at weekends here, there's no promotions at all. Weekends is like full price everywhere. And there's the place for ice cream on the right side. It's called Bianca in the blue sign there. And it's a nice place for a coffee as well. It's also a coffee shop there. And in Poland, everybody loves cycling. And I've never seen so many bikes in any country, anywhere I've been to as Poland. Um, there are just bikes absolutely everywhere. Everybody's addicted to cycling and bikes, pedal bikes, just absolutely everywhere. So this is still, still Maya Street that circles round here to the right side. And at the end of Maya Street, you get to the main market square where you have the town hall and um, you have the, um, the underground, the Zheshov Underground Museum. And I recommend that you go to the Zheshov Underground tourist route at the main square and you'll find tourist information there as well. There's guided tours there every single day in English language. And then you do your guided tour for around two hours uh, you probably pay about something like £10 to get in on the tour, about 8 or £10. And they'll do you a guided tour and they'll tell you everything about the history of Zheshov. It's nice to know the history of Zheshov if you're living here as well. And um, they'll do you a really, really nice tour. And they told me so much interesting information when I went there as well. Um, he told me that the whole city was covered in water in the past, all like lakes and marshes and everything because there's been so many different invasions here over the years. So Zheshev had a rough past with all those invasions, all the invaders coming in from Russia and all different countries. Um, and now the war's kind of affecting Zheshev again now. And the war has actually put Zheshev on the world map. So now everybody knows Zheshev because NATO are here. Joe Biden came here. Lots of famous military people came here as well. And this is the place where they're preparing all the, um, the aeroplanes and the military equipment for the Ukraine. So they're opening that factory now at the Yasionka airport and they're repairing all the military equipment for Ukraine. Um, lots of refugees came here. This was the first city to welcome refugees from Ukraine coming here. And uh, the people welcome refugees into their home and they've done lots of different initiatives to help refugees move here. It's only 40 minutes drive away from the um, Ukrainian border, so it's not far away at all to reach uh, cities in the west of the Ukraine, like Lviv, for example. Um, so yeah, it's it's a key it's a key city now, a key connection point, because Zheshov Yazionka Airport has the longest runway outside of Warsaw in the whole of Poland. So all the military aircrafts coming in from the USA, they land in Yazionka Airport or they land in Warsaw. So it's a very very important airport. So guys, I've got to get off now. So thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col, and that's Col with a C O L. Please give me some likes as well and some comments, guys, because it does help the channel. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye bye.